Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Data Decay back with another video. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Today in this video, this stuff is going to be completely different. I'm not going to edit anything. So you guys are going to see every possession that we play. If you guys don't like that and you guys want minor cuts, please just let me know down in the comment section. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you guys are new to the channel and you like these videos, make sure you guys hit that post notification bell so you won't miss another upload like this. And without further ado, let's get into this prime video. And I'll see y'all later, man. Peace. All right, guys. So we are entering the first game. The first game we are going up against is New Jersey Young Boys. God did. And I'm not going to lie. God did bless us with this game because these dudes were not good at all. I'm just going to let y'all know we end up blowing them out. But as you guys can see, we are running with a inside center. Now, my biggest pet peeve about um, centers, when, especially when I play random wreck is that i hate playing with centers that can't shoot they're literally so 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 much a liability on on the court now you see me going in for a layup that was a bad layup but they ended up giving me a foul because hey i got a gold whistle you see me missed the free throw i missed two free throws selling the game already man but look i just gotta say we do not have a game plan we don't have a pick and roll scheme we don't have a defensive scheme. Everything is just, hey, you got him, and if you can get a bucket, that's how that's how we score. We don't have no pick and roll, none of that. All right, no five out, none of that. So everything is just on everybody, every man for themselves. Every bucket is that person's bucket. It's not a setup or nothing, all right? Now, you see Rizzo gets a pump fake. I go out for the three. Bang, that's green. Now we are starting right on the board man we are starting off strong not missing the shot as you see my boy get the tip my boy Mel tried to shoot three he didn't want it then i tried to pass it and then i get a turnover for some reason i got a turnover maybe that was a bad bad pass i probably should have waited until somebody came closer to me to pass the ball but that's okay as you all see these these dudes are just like us. They really don't have a um, game plan scheme. They don't have a five out scheme, no pick and roll scheme. Every man for themselves, every bucket is that person's bucket. Now, you see me playing excellent defense. My boy Virgin gets the board, throws it down. And we are honestly very, very sloppy, as you guys can see in the first game. Now, for me, I've never played with the center before. So even though we played four games and won two and lost two, I'm still trying to get used to playing with an inside center because you guys already know that I like slashing builds. I like being a slasher. I like getting to the cup. When that paint is really, really full, I really get frustrated because I really can't do what I want. Now, you see Virgin get the easy two. And that's what we really look for. We just really look for him to just at least space out just a little bit for us to get plays like that off. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to show the whole first game of this because, like I said, this was just a blowout. They see me in the corner. They kick it to me. It's, it's straight green. Now, I'm not going to say we have the best defense, but we do have a pretty solid defensive squad. As you see, my boy Renzo gets the contest. Virgin passes it to Mel, Mel passes it to me, and that's an easy two right in the transition. Now, not to say we are the best defensive team. Obviously, we're not the best offensive team. And the only reason why I think we run just everybody just play to their style of play and not really have like a scheme, like a five out or a pick and roll type is because that's really not how we play I, I mean you've you've guys seen us on rec man we don't really play like that now it's people on on rec that play rec like pro am when you play against you know the fives on um squad squad rec people play rec just just like pro am we just don't play that some of y'all do that's cool but we got a different play style now i'm not gonna lie after this game you guys will never see this center play with us again um, just as a inside joke for the people that I play with in, in this video, they watch my video. Um, you will never see the center play with us again. I mean, like I said, I like being a slasher and just for us to space the floor, I was going to get on my center build that I've actually made a video on. And it actually did very, very, very good, by the way. Thank you guys. But 
I'm going to get on my shooting center from now on. Now, if we end up getting another center that can shoot, or if the same dude just ends up making a center that can can shoot, we we will bring him back. But for now, I will be at center. So if you guys end up seeing some pro am games and I'm using the same center, bro, just just bear with me. I I would like to use the different builds that I made and bring them into direct. I say wreck and bring them into the pro am scene, but it all depends if we got a extra big. Now, do you see how this dude is playing at the free throw? If you're going to play at the free throw, you have to have at least a mid range to shoot at that spot. You know, like just watching this back is really giving me like what i like for my people to play like like i need shooters all around me i'm kind of i'm i'm kind of like Bron, just a little bit just a little bit because i like the slash and stuff like that just a little bit now they kick it out to me it's a green like i said i'm really not going to be focused on this gameplay as you guys see 67 to 36 this game is chalked this game is over we are going to get into the second game but like i said I'm going to be playing center from now on until we get another center that can shoot. And if we don't, then you guys will probably just see the same Pro-Am games and I'll try and make them as entertaining as I can. But without further ado, let's get into the second half of the video. The second game, we are going against Puerto Rico. They are 9-2. Their three-point percentage is actually very, very decent. 44% from the three-point line i'm not i'm not gonna lie to y'all this team really wasn't good either but we started off so bad in the beginning and i just want to let you guys see the jerseys and let me know down in the comment section rate these jerseys one out of ten honestly i think the beige with this colorway is fire but it's a hey, y'all let me know down in the comments now like i said in the beginning we started off very very slow now you see one of the dudes on their team goes up with a stupid layup john pulls up for the three he misses the center grabs the board throw it down and then they get an easy bucket on the fast break all right just like every pro -Am team they are running two three and i think in my opinion i'm the one that really fucks up how two three is supposed to be beat because i really just try and look and go in for uh cuts or try and set screens or some of that stuff or I, I should probably just be sitting somewhere probably in the corner since i am a spot up build and just wait until that corner gets open and hopefully my teammates stop me but as i stated in the beginning that offensive possession was just sloppy we looked so unorganized but i'm not gonna lie y'all we started picking up the pace very very well now you see we get the steal and we can't even finish on the fast break and we can't even hit free throw free throws you see we missed that and we missed that center grabs the board throws it down Renzo tried to go for the steal he couldn't get the animation they throw it to the corner he does it behind the back he passes out we thought we had a steal and then he shoots a fadeaway three now we got to come down and play defense again because I think we threw a turnover. They kick it to the corner and they hit another green. They are on an 8-0 run to start the game. We are not even on the board yet. We were not frustrated, obviously, because it's the first part of the game. But just look at that, bro. Like, come on, 2K. Like, it's probably, like, it's probably the player that I should be blaming, Mel. How the hell did you miss that? After this timeout, this is when we really started to figure some things out. And I'm not going to lie, man. This team, um, it was pretty decent. But you guys are going to see later on that what happens with this team. And I don't get how they're 9-2. and two, But I'm not going to lie. Just because we are 4-7, and seven, I really don't count that against us. Because we really wasn't playing with, with you know, a spacious offense because if you're not playing with a spacious offense and you don't have a scheme then you really shouldn't even be playing with a person that really can't shoot now john 
shoots the ball, he he misses, which is okay. Everybody misses. We ain't really gonna blame him on that, even though you guys seen him in videos where he sold. But we just gotta play D, all right. Center does a fake pass, kicks it back to the point guard. The point guard goes up with a dumb layup. I get the board, I throw it to Rand. You already know, man, that is an easy flush, and he got blocked. Hopefully he can make a free throw, and he can't. Can he make this free throw? No, he cannot make a free throw. As we get back on defense, as my teammate couldn't hit a free throw, we actually get the um, chase down, I would say block, but it wasn't a block. The dude just missed it, and apparently it was off him. Renzo goes for the nice high floater, gets us 4-10. to 10. These dudes, all they did was just pick and roll. Um, the, the center, he could shoot, but I just didn't let him. Now I know how to play centers in, in my opinion, most of y'all centers, y'all do one pump fake and then y'all go straight up. Some of y'all do two pump fakes and then go straight up. You, I do no pump fake, go straight up, get blocked, but I got the rebound and my boy John knocks down the three. So we are making a little bit of a comeback now you see we get the contest my boy red rum gets the board throws it down on the john hopefully he doesn't make a mistake i see ran in the corner that's an easy dot and he sold my shit but luckily i snagged up to get that board we are going to reset i'm trying to set mail the screen um he took it just a little bit late but that was a great pump fake by him to get the easy bucket now it is nine to ten now again these guys just did pick and roll point guard center. Now the center statistically can actually shoot, but he just missed that one. Kick it to Ren. He kicks it to Mel. We go up 11 to 10, 16 seconds left. My boy Ren reads the easy pass lane. Can he go all the way? No, he can't. We couldn't even get the board. They go down. They have the easy shot. The guy passes is up, but I come back and get the block to stop them from scoring. That was a clutch block by me because we actually needed to win this half to boost our confidence up a little bit. They tried to kick it to him. I go back for the denial. Now it is second quarter. Back again with the pick and roll point guard center. Now I thought he was going to shoot. That's why I jumped and he actually does a great hesitation and goes in for the dunk. Mel kicks it to Ren. Ren shoots three. He didn't make it, but I got the clutch board. But I was too, I was too trigger happy to pass the ball back and reset the ball. So they got a turnover. But luckily, my boy John gets the turnover back for us. Now we are back in action. Mail is at the top of the key. He goes in and he gets an and one. Can he convert the and one? Yes, he does. Now it is 14 to 12. Now they started getting out of their scheme just a little bit the point guard shoots and a terrible shot ren kicks it to mel mel gets the three 17 to 12. like i said this is when we started to really figure out how to play these dudes because honestly the point guard was really not good at all as you guys will see at the end of this gameplay this dude was really not good at all ren reads the steal again he reads the steal again. He passes it to Mel. Mel doesn't have the shot. Ren kicks it to John. Kicks it back to Mel. Kicks it to Ren. He goes up for a floater. That was a terrible floater, by the way. But, you know, good shot. Got to get back on D. Nothing worried about that. Now, the shooting guard is going to be trying to go for a pick and roll. They actually go back to the point guard for another pick and roll. He hits the center. The center, honestly, could have just waited and be just... If he would have been a little bit more patient and not pass that ball, he could have had an easy two. I'm right there for the contest. They throw it down. We get the bucket 19 to 13. We end up fouling him on um, accident. Um, one of our teammates got a little uh, personal foul animation. But you see Mel kicking it to John, and that's a green, bro. Like I said, back to the pick and roll. This is what what they do. This is their scheme. They miss again. Rum with the outlet. Passes it to Rand. Passes it to Mel. Easy bucket. 24-13. This game is getting away from them. And I really don't know why they're 9-2. Now, I'm playing great defense. I didn't jump. Didn't 
let him bait me into a foul, none of that. We play a little pretty pretty good of defense. I wouldn't say that was the best defensive possession right there, but at the end of the day, we still got the board and got it down to the court for the easy two. 30-13, they're back on the pick and roll. That's their scheme. They actually got me that time. I played a little. I played way too high, and the center got the slip. Easy two. We pass it. John passes it to Rum. Rum passes it to Mel. Mel sees me. Now, I know the center was too deep into the paint. That's why I just went up with that and got a standard contact dunk. I get the board. I kick it down to Mel, and we are trying to get into the lane but the center is playing very very good hands up defense not jumping not getting baited now rum is a little stuck so he kicks it back to mail ran is open and he shoots and he misses but i snag up i get the board just to reset it rum is gonna do a pick and roll he's gonna shoot a floater wasn't the best best floater but it's it's cool. As long as we can get back on D and stop them from scoring, this is great. Now, we're trying to scramble and get to our man and make sure that we are all set. Now, they went on the pick and roll again, but I just stay. I didn't get baited. I didn't get trigger happy to him, you know, going up. I didn't do none of that. But you see their man got an easy dunk and the center slips into the paint and gets another easy bucket i'm playing too high i need to play back just a little bit all right 34 21 it's about to be the fourth quarter mail kicks it to me i get the easy slip into the paint Ryan is gonna play great help defense right here all he's gonna do he knows that that guy is going to go back door easy steal easy windmill for the two fast break points again now i know the center is gonna pump fake that's why i'm not jumping i'm just playing hands up defense now, Mel was looking to go into the paint to get a bucket, but he obviously got stuck and wanted to pass out. That's why we threw the unnecessary turnover, which is cool. But this dude just goes up carelessly. I played great hands up defense, didn't foul, didn't do anything. And once again, we are getting fast break points. This is the reason why we end up winning this game. Fast break points. Now, I knew that Mel, well, we actually talked. Mel said that he was going to pick up the center. I said, I'm going to stay on the point guard, and look what happened. The point guard just shot it instead of passing it to the center who has a 6-1 guard on him. Like, come on, man. That um, point guard was just trash. I don't get how they're 9-2, and two, but hey. Now, you guys see the center was snagging me up, but me and Rum get there for the defensive play. As we are about to wrap things up, I just want to say, for future pro and videos, I am going to try and get my Apollo build in here. I'm going to try and get my Ben Ben Simmons build, my first um, point forward slasher build. I don't think I'm going to try and do my 5-7 build. If I do, I think that would be a banger. But yeah, Apollo, Ben Simmons, I got a Vince Carter pro and video coming out soon. So yeah, I'm just trying to get a lot of different builds in into the scene just so you guys can be re refreshed to see some more entertaining gameplay now i did have a comment in my last video saying that um i uploaded a video with a lack of commentary and bro i 100 percent agree and i mention this anytime that i can i know i don't um commentate as much as i should but you know i'm trying to work on it man so you know i uh, i appreciate that comment i'm not mad at it at all because i 100 percent agree if if you're gonna make a video at least let it be half decent and i think i rushed that video and that's why the video is doing what is doing now but um anyways i appreciate him for his uh honesty and just i i really just thank y'all for watching this uh channel because like i said before I'm really hard on myself, and I really don't think that I post the most exciting gameplay, but hey, man, I do what I can. Now, as you guys see, man, we won 54-37. Ren is the player of the game, which is well-deserved. Now, as you guys see, the point guard, 3 for 17 from the field goal, 2 for 11 from the 3, and the shooting guard did a little bit bad, too. If you guys end up enjoying this gameplay, man, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel, and if you are new to the channel, turn on those post notifications so you won't miss another upload like this. It's your boy, Data2K. I'm signing out, man. I hope you guys have a good one. Peace.